onto a new device just cleared by the FDA that could be a game changer for the roughly 300,000 Americans with spinal cord injuries. I found out about this FDA authorization when I received a text message from our Vice President of Clinical Regulatory and Quality, Erica Ellison. It was very simple. Got the letter, game on. When we received the FDA letter last week, I got super emotional because it sunk in how much this means for the spinal cord injury community, for the study investigators, and for Onward and the team here. I think it's about damn time, to be honest. I think the population has been asking for it, therapists have been asking for it, researchers have been asking for a little bit more progress, and finally we've come to a point where we can have this in people's hands that didn't have access to it before. I've been injured for almost 11 years now, and this is the first time I've had the opportunity to see something go from a trial or a study into the hands of individuals, hospitals, or rehabilitation centers. As a physio myself, this is truly an unforgettable moment. The STI community has been waiting for so long for a solution specifically designed for them. There have been advancement in research, yet the gap between research and clinical reality remained very large. Today, we have managed to close this gap a little bit. The FDA announcing it has cleared a spinal cord stimulation technology from Swiss company Onward. The device, called ARC-EX, helps paralyzed people regain some mobility in their arms, hands, and fingers, and freedom. Freedom to go from this to this. This moment is so meaningful for people with spinal cord injuries. We all want movement, we all want freedom in our movement, and this is one of those possibilities that exist. To think of the years and years of research that have gone into this historic time is just unprecedented. This moment matters deeply to me because it challenges everything that I was told to accept. When you first hear the word paralyzed, you don't need anyone to explain to you what it meant. Everything you've ever seen or heard makes it clear. There's no hope. And this milestone right here is living proof that the narrative of paralysis can be rewritten. It starts right here. We have poured our hearts and souls into developing and bringing this new therapy to the market. And today, seeing this is not real, is truly an emotional experience for me. What this moment means personally for me is that it's so gratifying to see all the hard work that our graduate students, postdocs, and other researchers have put in, along with our collaborators, over the past eight or more years to realize this new treatment and put it in the hands of clinicians who can treat people with spinal cord injury. Personally, being part of the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and being part of such an amazing uh, spinal cord injury community, I am just thrilled to see such an important uh, milestone being met with a therapy that is FDA approved. It means a lot to me personally as the son of a man with a spinal cord injury. For me personally, this day represents something that I've waited for for 11 years since my husband became a quadriplegic. It's the reason that I started fundraising for SCI research, and I'm so grateful to see these advancements come to fruition. This means a lot to me personally, because when I was injured over 10 years ago, I was told in no uncertain terms that my injury was incurable and that no hope of recovery was possible. Today demonstrates that, in actual fact, a spinal cord injury should no longer be considered incurable and that we should, in fact, look at it as being improvable. It is not just a scientific breakthrough. It's a personal breakthrough for every single person who has ever dared to hope for more. Yes! Yes!